Okay, so I'm gonna try to make a lava looking stuff in this black cherry burl I got here. I'm not sure if I can do it. Somebody asked if I can use this eye candy uh, pigment paste and color it. So I'm gonna see if we can. Uh, I'm gonna start off with uh, the yellow. Oh, here we go. I ain't looking at it. I'm gonna start off with. Come on, focus. Yeah. There we go. I'm gonna start off with uh, the yellow translucent dye. If that's not enough. I'm gonna. I'm gonna add some of this flow yellow. I want a bright yellow on the on the burl to swirl up out of it, and I'm gonna mix it in the white in this little little cup here, which is probably way too much. I am gonna go with uh, Caster's Choice. Right, let's get this up here. Antique copper and gold for my flame look. So uh, let's get this going and see what happens. Come on, come on, focus. Oopsie, moving you guys around like that. All right, so I am going to, come on, there we go. I'm gonna add a little bit of orange to that. I'll try to tone it down here. I couldn't get it darker, it just went really bright. So we'll give her a drop, see what happens. Come on, come on. There we go. Ooh, that's not really the color I wanted. <laughs> I think it'll work though. All right, not that you can see it from here. Let me let me give you a close up here. Look at that. All right, so I am gonna have to fix that exothermic crack right there. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna mix up three little cups, you know, the little the little paper cups. Um, try to build something off here so it just fills this spot right here. And I'm not using a pile of resin, and we'll get it back under pressure and hopefully it pulls it down in that hole. So as you can see, popsicle sticks and hot glue make me a dam. <laughs> so uh, I'm not even sure how to do it, so I'm just going to spew it all over the place and try to keep it out of the hole for now. And just mix the colors kind of, it's not going to be the same. And you know, I'm going to turn most of it away anyway, so I want some in there because that's a little low. <laughs> like enough you guys I see it's bubbling up there so that's a good thing and I think and eh, maybe I'll dump some down the side here and call it good I guess
<laughs> missing all that. How wobbly it is. It's really kind of ugly. I hope it looks better on the inside. <laughs> Tell you what's really weird, I keep smelling aluminite. I'll tell you why, because this purple is aluminite right here, and I keep smelling it. Uh, so I gotta turn quite a bit of that off to get rid of that there. Uh, so I'm just kinda uh, gouging at it, and I wanna get into finding the burl in here somewhere, and I have not yet. I've started, um, I'm not sure how that's gonna look. Not quite sure I like it, but we'll see. Okay, folks, I'm going to have to do some more resin. Um, got lots of voids down here. That's the, that's the easy part. <laughs> I also have a lot of exothermic cracks. There, there. See some more somewhere. So what I think I'm going to do is uh, maybe hot glue uh, one of the total boat buckets upside down right around this rim right here. And uh, just mix up the three colors. I'm not going to bother with this funky one in here. Uh, mix up the three colors and see what I get, I guess. Um, it, it's, I got this. I can't leave that. That's That's got to get fixed. Uh, so I thought I saw some more than that. I'm, I may have turned them away. I was trying to turn them out. And uh, as you can see, I'm getting way down in there. And I don't want to lose my resin. I like what I used to have right here. And I don't have it anymore. So... Uh, yeah, let me, uh, let me get on that. I'm not going to film it. You'll, you'll just see when I come back on the lathe. Alright, so here we are. <laughs> back where I think I ended up last time I talked to you. As you can see, my cracks are now filled. 
here. Uh, my little holes are filled. It actually looks pretty good. I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to uncover some more. Uh, we'll go from there with it. What I don't care for is I don't have any of that burl here. You know, because the big wads of burl are on each side of this. And that's where I least have it. So I think I'm going to roll the edges in. And we'll go from there, I think. Uh, maybe I'll give it a rim. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. far in that goes but I think it's gonna stay there <laughs> all right so let me see if my coin fits in the bottom uh, yep my coin will fit in the bottom all right so you know how this works I'm gonna sand 80 grit to about 800 grit uh, I'm gonna put some sanding sealer around it hit it with a scotch bright pad and then I am going to put Oh, let's try, um, everybody tells me why don't I use it anymore. Uh, because basically it wasn't staying on, but I'll try it again just for you guys. Shine juice. It may have had something to do with the abrasive paste. Could be. That might be why I quit using it. I don't remember, so let's see. Three equal parts, denatured alcohol, boiled linseed oil, and shellac. Been a minute since I've done this. Object is to get it as hot as possible, I think. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> it's pretty damn shiny, isn't it? Uh, I think, this is just my personal opinion, that the waxes and the abrasive paste were causing issues. Uh, the biggest issue I was having with it is, if you touched it, that shine went away. Uh, 
and I think that's because the oils and the wax were adding to it. Because that looks awesome, and I don't even know why I stopped using it. And I think it's because I started having problems way back when. And although the abrasive paste makes things great, you do have to clean it off, in my opinion, to use it. So I'm going to put a couple more coats on here off camera and we'll get it flipped over. I am going to put a colored logo in the bottom of that with some resin when I'm done.
I don't know. What do y'all think? I think uh, maybe a couple more coats and, and we will fill in these holes. <laughs> there's, there's some holes in it and I'm not worried about it. I kind of like them so I'm leaving them. But, uh, I think I'm going to try to get at, at least get the shellac down in them to seal them up. And then I'm pretty sure I'm going to try the tongue wax finish on it. See if I can get it to buff up a little shinier. So, we're going to use Brad's tongue finish. Uh, there's a link for it in the description below. set for a half hour or so and come back and buff that off. Well, uh, I'm going to butcher it. Um, what is it? Wait, wait. Why brew? Woodworking? Um, Walt does have a channel, so put him over there in the corner. I, I, I know it took a while, Walt. <laughs> I had to get you know, the sticker board going. Speaking of that, your sticker is right there. Uh, thanks for the, the sticker swap and the, and the maker coin. I sent Walt stickers and a coin also. This thing. <laughs> so, uh, I, I, I did accomplish what I wanted, as you can see. Uh, uh, it didn't turn out too bad. I thought it was going to be ugliest. <laughs> but it doesn't look too bad with those colors on there. So, it, it was a plus. I was worried. I was really worried. The only thing I don't care for is, oh, here, let's look this way. Somebody might have put a hole all the way through it. <laughs> I should have probably taken the bottom off a little bit more before I sunk it in there, but I was running out of material and I didn't want to be too thin. So uh, lots of exothermic cracks and I made a couple different pours and fixed with UV resin. But that, that being aside, it looks good. I like it. It, it. it just looks like lava on fire in there and that's what I was going for. Uh, the finish. So I, I'm still not happy with the finish. Um, I, I don't. I, I don't know. There, there's a reason I quit using it, and I don't know. I, I mean, it didn't look bad this time, and then I put a, a wax on top of it, trying to see, you know, maybe I could keep it from smudging and being. It, it's shiny. It, it's not as glossy as it was with the wax finish on it. Uh, it was way easier than trying to spray it or put a resin coat on it. It's smoother. I, I think that's what everybody gets at when I do them because they're not smooth. But they're glass and then they're sticky for days. 
but like it's still uh yeah then you know the the resin finish fill, fills in scratches in that when you do it but then it's got a little whoop to do bumps of dirt and so i i did the I, i'll give it a go and i'll do some more with uh what did I use, you guys? I haven't used it so long. For, oh, the shine juice. There you go. So, you know, three equal parts denatured alcohol, boiled linseed oil, and shellac. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, there's a, I think there's a link for that video, how to make it, how to use it, in the description below. If not, it's over on Captain Eddie's channel. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll, we'll put that in the corner, too. How's that? Um, so yeah, uh, aside from my whoopsie do in the bottom there, remember I said I didn't think it was, I thought it was too deep and I didn't know how far it went, and I, it was all the way through, and I never even noticed it until I took it out of the pressure pot to do this segment. So there's my, my logo, I did it in bronze, not that you can see that it's bronze, it's just sparkly, uh, but I do like that shine better than this shine, uh, that's just my preference I guess, that's don't get me wrong this looks good it's just it's not as shiny to me I'm, I like that glossy bowling ball look you know <laughs> so so yeah there there is my uh, black cherry flaming lava bowl urn pot nah, well, not an urn spittoon maybe chamber pot <laughs> but yeah so I'll put pictures up at the end Go over and check out Walt. It'll be in the description below also. Uh, yep, give her a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Wait, 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 wait. Have a great weekend. <laughs>